The Rice Quantum Initiative isn't just a research center, it was really a full stack approach to quantum science here at Rice University. It covers everything from the quantum hardware to the experiments on new materials for that hardware, ways to connect them together, and the software to use these and bring them to applications. It includes more than 40 faculty members in different areas of science, engineering, and encourages collaboration between all of them. Price is in a very special place. Houston is, is the most diverse city in the U.S. It's very well connected. The campus itself is very uh, well built, is very compact. You can walk from one side to the other in like 10-15 minutes or you can bike. It's actually quite easy to go to other buildings and, and attend seminars in different departments, in different schools uh, to broaden your perspective. Quantum mechanics has permeated and invaded every technical field in science and technology. The main goal of the RICE Quantum Initiative is to make sure that RICE continues to be a leading institute in quantum research. The university created 12 new faculty lines to hire new people in quantum algorithms, quantum simulation, quantum materials, quantum photonics and quantum sensing. In the current second quantum revolution, one thing unique is the explicit use of genuine quantum states, such as quantum superposition states, quantum entanglement states, or quantum squeeze states. The macroscopic quantum squeeze states that we are investigating in bulk crystals have huge potential to revolutionize a range of technologies such as sensing, computing, and communications. Our colleagues in materials are synthesizing and characterizing uh, new materials with properties which can be understood only by using quantum principles. The importance of quantum mechanics will continue to increase in electronics and photonics and any other technical fields. There is an interdisciplinary effort uh, that is uh, also very well connected. Uh, different PIs talk to each other and they collaborate and try to combine different platforms together to build uh, uh, even hybrid quantum platforms where different platforms bring their own strength and mitigate their respective weaknesses. To make different quantum systems connect is somewhat similar as what people do in the classical communication system uh, where people can send laser pulses at specific wavelengths to transmit uh, information between different network nodes. In quantum mechanical systems, we are using single photons instead of laser pulses to carry the quantum information and then transmit it via fiber network to connect different quantum network nodes. We want to use the T-Center as the quantum repeater to enable entanglement either between a, a single trapped ion and the T-Center or between two different trapped ions. The advantage to do this is twofold. One is to uh, utilize the long coherence time of the trapped ion so that that can be a quantum memory for the T-centers. The second advantage is that we can use the T-center as the repeater to entangle two different uh, trapped ion systems so that they can uh, do this uh, modular quantum computing idea using trapped ion system. It has a very long storage time and long coherence time so you can keep those ions there for much longer compared to other platforms like for example neutral atoms in tweezer arrays. As the quantum hardware development gets better and better, it has a great potential to bring disruptive technology for different type of applications in the near future. Quantum theory has several applications in biology. Rhythms and movements, so the circadian rhythm, breathing and walking, or even transcription and gene networks are all examples that we can use these quantum theories to model biology. We have been able to use quantum insights to understand how Many proteins interact together and have different kinds of transcription. Gene transcription is the central dogma of molecular biology where genes provide the information that leads to different kinds of transcription. Understanding how transcription happens can then lead to understanding better human health and function, and this can lead to improving therapies and to lead to a better quality of life. The main applications in engineering started with problems that could be translated into optimization, like 
designing materials that satisfy certain me mechanical properties or scheduling tasks that require too many crews and uh, resources or uh, dealing with traffic and mobility networks. But we are also seeing new problems and that's where civil engineering comes in. In our quest to design a critical system not to fail, like the nuclear reactors or space habitats, we have to translate the problem into a way that we can be sure that we have captured all the possible failures or all the possible things that can go wrong. We partnered with some colleagues here at RISE uh, from the field of logic and we translated our civil engineering problem into logic. And once we had it in the language of logic, we can uh, essentially draw on or leverage all the tools from artificial intelligence and, and solve our problem. RQI really provides this space where people, regardless of the discipline, we are looking at the same problem from a variety of angles. When everyone looks at the same thing from a different lens, uh, we shorten the understanding, the time of understanding and the effort of understanding because everyone brings insights for the same thing we have been thinking about. RQI allows us to sort of tackle grander problems from a variety of vantage points to answer questions that have this closer connection to the societal impact. Modern quantum science and engineering is really too involved to be done by any one group, and so only by interfacing these groups together can you really unlock the potential of these quantum technologies. Quantum provides the fundamental insights that we can then use to uh, have breakthroughs in different areas of life, creating quant computing tools that can then solve these most pressing problems of our society today. I think that theory will guide experiment and experiment will give us puzzles for theory to work on. The results of those interfaces will bring new ideas to engineers to build applications of these systems and we hope to bring these out into the world in ways that can impact society.